in any profession, particularly in law, you need to be diligent. You need to be diligent. If people bring a case to you, don't just jump. I have had occasion to comment on Martin Amidu saying that he had no jurisdiction to deal with some matters. I was in Cape Coast when they called me on it. And I said, no. From practice as a lawyer, you, they, somebody may bring a case which looks either too frivolous or too difficult. You have to take your time and interview the person many times. You, you are likely to finally find a way out a way by which you can make do be of and some assistance to the person. So you need to be diligent. You need to be hard working. You need to be smart. That means you must you must think on your feet. Mm. You can't just be reading books. Okay. Because the judges they can ask you a question. If you get prepared and go that you want to go and just recite a, a, a poem mm. <laughs> you will you will you will fall flat because they will ask you a question and you must think on your feet. Mm. So there are these ones. I kill myself. I, I work really, really hard. I try to work really hard. Mm. And I try to be diligent. And maybe people think that I am I am able to think on my feet. I mean in the in the courtroom, younger lawyers they are always enthralled when I'm on my on my feet. Mm. And they, 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 they miss me when I am not in court for a week or two. Mm. They say you mostly use common sense to... Yeah, well, that, that's the walking, uh, talking on your feet, uh, thinking on your feet. You have to use common sense quickly. You have to be very smart in your... Jason, because they will ask you a question. That's why when you go to the Court of Appeal or the Supreme Court, you'll be there. I remember that I went with some matter before the Supreme Court. It was about the creation of some uh, district mm. in uh, the Volta region, yeah. former Volta region, Biakoye area there, Alavan, uh, Biakoye. And the problem was about capital. And it, they came and took me, and we took an aspect of it all the way to the Supreme Court. And then I, they gave ruling in my favor. And the Chief Justice then, Justice Wood said, Ms. Ndebukle, this one, we are not going to we are not going to allow you. We are not going to allow your people to join the you see, because the attorney general's department is dealing with the matter. Why do they want you to uh, want you to follow them to join? Or are you saying that you 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 are more you know capable in the law than the attorney general's people? I said no no oh my my lady, I cannot I cannot ever think like that. But the point is that it is there, and there was some Ashanti woman in, on the panel, mm. <laughs> Justice Rose or who said, as the, the Ashanti people say, two heads are better than one. Right. Then Rose Owusu said, oh, Mr. Debu, are you saying that two mad heads are better than one sane head? <laughs> you see, you see, everybody laughed, and I, I had to find a way of, you know, culture of silence was reigning supreme. There were no newspapers, only daily graphic Ghanaian times and so on. Then this, there was this Catholic uh, newspaper, Catholic Standard. Yes, yes. It is still there. Yes, I think I saw it some time back. George Nekin was the editor of this paper and he published. For, if it was not Catholic Standard, it uh, was some religious paper. He published there that you know, when Liman retired, Rawlings and others, mm. the new, the government went to...